hot flashes, night sweats, weight gains. Oh my, are you dealing with any of these things? These are symptoms that our society tells us are just a normal phase in the changes of life, especially for women. But Donna Crutch is here with us today to say that that's not necessarily the case. There are other things that God has planned for us and those are not what we're supposed to be going through. Donna joins us again this week and she brought a friend with her. Pam Ayers is with us as well. Um, so let's dive right into this big topic that affects so many women. Um, you mean hot flashes are not just normal? Here's the thing, uh, the way God intended it, when a woman goes through menopause or even perimenopause, especially now because our hormones are messed up for so many reasons. When a woman goes through menopause or perimenopause, there is supposed to be no symptom, none, except once menopause has officially set in the absence of a cycle. There's supposed to be no symptom. That's the way God intended it. So Pam Ayers, let's just jump right into your story and Donna can help lead that. Uh, that's what brought you to try to figure out there's got to be a different way when it comes to these changes in our lives as we get older. Right. So let's jump back to the story. Jennifer asked us a little bit ago when we were off camera, you know, how this came to be. Mm -hmm. I said, you and Mike are good friends of ours, so we get to hang out at our lake house, right? Mm -hmm. And it must have been Memorial Day or something. Yes. Because there was a crowd, but the crowd had, had uh, dispersed. They had gone home. There were just a couple of us left, and you grabbed me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you said, I need to talk to you. <laughs> and we went over and sat by the water. And what you said, other friends have actually sat down there and told me, but I'd gone through it with my whole adrenal thing. Do you remember what you said to me? I need your help. And uh, your feelings about the people around you were not all like fluffy teddy bears and roses. No. <laughs> <laughs> How did you feel about them? Um, I wasn't real happy with them. I kind of <laughs> wanted to take somebody out. <laughs> <laughs> you did. Uh, Pam said, I feel like I'm losing my mind. I, I want to kill somebody. And I got it because I felt like I was losing my mind when I was going through all that stuff. I bet you there's a lot of women at home could kind of understand that too. It's not that we don't love the people in our lives. It's not that we don't want them in our lives, but something inside you find is just bombarding with this us. You uncontrollable, yes. oh my gosh, right? This is yeah. how you feel. And then uh, you told me about the night, no, the hot flashes. Yes. Right? Can yes. you remember what those were like? Um, they w I would wake up every night. So you had night sweats too? Yeah. Night sweats and yeah, hot flashes. Was, and just throughout the day, all, you know, all day long. All day long. So what, what Pam said to me that day was, I need your help. I feel like I want to kill somebody. I can't get past these hot flashes. And you're saying that you know, we can get rid of them. And so remind me how many pounds you lost, because I don't remember. Uh, about 35. 35 pounds. Mm -hmm. uh, and started feeling like a new person. Um, initially, she came to me and said, the hot flashes are not completely gone. What's going on? <laughs> and I said, we've got to listen to your body. So as we're food, adding foods back in, there are certain foods that will stress the body. And they're different for everybody. That's why we call it listen to your body. Because one person can eat a food and it will throw, again, remember I said, when stress goes up and physiological stress is a stress. So if you put a food in your body that it doesn't like, and that doesn't mean it's your most luscious favorite food ever. It could be something that is quote unquote healthy, but your body doesn't like it. Mm -hmm. You put that in your body, stress goes up. Okay, now remember, cortisol goes up. Cortisol gets capped out. So then when it's capped out, it starts stealing from progesterone. And if progesterone is low and estrogen is high, you have night sweats and hot flashes. So we figured out the food for you, right? Yeah. Talk a little bit about what you had to go through. Did, was it a supplement type thing? Was it a change in exercise? Was it a change in lifestyle, a change in food? Basically just changing the foods that I was eating. Um, we kind of determined that the normal things that caused the hot flashes weren't affecting me so much, but the um, breads and stuff would trigger them. So once you were able to discover what those stress factor foods were and change your diet, you were able to start seeing changes yes. in your own personal life. Yes. Yeah. And it's, it's individual for every single person, isn't it? It's, it's individual for every single person. Now the thing that's the same for everybody is to get insulin, also a hormone, back to baseline. So when insulin, insulin's kind of like when you play the game of dominoes, that first domino, right? Mm -hmm makes all the rest of them fall down. Insulin is the impetus that will get all the other hormones to more or less pay attention because if insulin is spiking or if it's dropped, it's got to go back the other direction, which is a stress on the body. 
Okay, so what Pam found now in that first, 20 day, first 30 days of 2030, that's where we put insulin back to baseline so that we can start adding foods back in and figure it out. We can't figure it out without you being at baseline. So Pam went through 2030, mm -hmm. right? And we got her insulin back to baseline. And then as she began to add one food back in at a time, according to a scientific formula that's been developed for us, we're able to figure it out. And she's paying attention mostly, right, to hot flashes and night sweats, because that was her key symptom. And as they were getting less and less, but not gone yet, she really started paying attention more and honed in on initially thinking it was like all carbs. And I'm like, whoa, mm. that's a big category. <laughs> um, let's go a little bit deeper. And found out that it, it may not be pastas or potatoes or anything like that, mm. but when she would have bread, it would be almost like, now listen, there are certain foods and or drinks that, that are known to be triggers for hot flashes and night sweats. And what you just said is those weren't yours. No. Not at all. Yay! Because <laughs> I know what some of them are and I know what you like. <laughs> um, but it was... A bread or maybe breads, that's still to be determined, right? But she's now saying, oh, I just don't know if I want to eat that bread because I don't want to feel that feeling. Mm -hmm. And it's not to say you have to change your diet. We're all adults and we're going to live a lifestyle, my hope, is of being whole and being mm -hmm. well. It's all about wellness. You look gorgeous. You've always looked gorgeous. <laughs> And now you feel amazing, yeah. right? Yeah. So the, the family's safe. Nobody's at risk for being killed. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Are you happy that you, you took these strides, that you were willing to talk to Donna and say, hey, something, something's not right here, and we need, we need to look into some things? It's the best thing I have done in a long time. <laughs> so. Wow. That's, uh, that's overwhelming when we hear that. Our goal, like I said, is to help folks get back to baseline, and what they may not realize is that there's, there's a food you've put in your body that has thrown your stress out of whack. And it usually happened way back, okay, like when we were young teens or even, even 10 years old. And, and there was a reaction. This is called the Saley response, the general adapt, adaptation formula. And you put something in your body it didn't like, and there was some kind of reaction. Maybe you felt a little bloated. Maybe it affected your digestion. Maybe you got the hiccups. Maybe you got a runny nose. But you didn't think anything of it, right? Because it's just this is life. Mm -hmm. Well, as you progress over time, it doesn't take very long. Your body goes into adaptation, and now you kind of get away with it. You put these foods in your body, and you know your, your body's now adjusted, or so it would seem. It appears you're getting away with it, and you seem to be functioning normally. But over time, your body starts reaching the exhaustion phase of Saley response, and that's when it starts going, look, I don't like this food. It's stressing me out. It's making cortisol go up. Insulin is high and low. Everything's a mess, and now the symptoms start showing up. That's why when you know, again, over 35, 40, 45, 50, it looks like we have this onslaught of symptoms. We have this unexplained weight gain for a lot of us, usually around the belly. We're like, I'm eating right. I exercise. How is this possible? It's hormone. So that Saley response usually has had us all victim, but we don't know about it. And when we start now putting a person back to baseline and start adding those foods back in, you can figure it out. And be happy, healthy, and fully alive for the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> well, getting back to baseline, such an important concept for every single one of us. Are you there? How can you get there? What are the steps to get you to that baseline position so that you can live fully alive as God has intended? Find out more. Connect with Donna by going to any of these locations. The website is 2030fasttrack.com. There's the phone number where you can reach her or those who work with her, 419-224-8446. And that Total Solutions location is at 709 North Cable Road, Lima, Ohio, 45805. More to come in the coming weeks that just might be the keys to get you to be living fully alive as God has truly intended.